So, um, thank you very much. I couldn't, I could just sign everything that was said, including with what you, I agree fully with what you said, Commissioner, only, um, as Robert Biedroni has just mentioned, why waiting? Um, all the, the, the points, all the breaches were committed. You know about it very well. You had known before the wall was being built uh, that it is coming, and then nothing was undertaken, and the situation is really dramatic. We discussed it already several times from the point of view of human rights, those miserable people who are held outside of the European Union dying in those forests. Uh, from the perspective of uh, nature preservation, which is being brutally destroyed, um, if someone, probably this picture is too small, but this wall is... You really cannot, small, I'm sorry, you brutal. cannot show uh, any signs here, I'm sorry. We can. Okay. okay, I put it down. But um, see in internet, you will see much more tragic pictures, really, of, uh, of, um, of this um, destruction of the most beautiful and precious monument of nature. But what is maybe the worst is that European Commission, in which we trust and which we want to be strong and fulfill the, its duty, namely uh, be the guardian of treaties and our laws in the European Union, doesn't fulfill its duties. And there are, I don't know how many uh, laws broken, environmental laws uh, that are being broken now through the construction of this horrible, useless, as you have said, wall, it's well, Habitat Directive, Birds Directive, um, uh, Charter of Human Rights, Article 1821, Treaty of the EU, EU of course, Article 2, etc. And in addition to that, a part of this destruction, horrible symbolic meaning of walls in Europe in 21st century, uh, non-acting of the European Commission. We write letters, we never receive answers. The last letter I signed was written two months ago. I never received any answer. Um, uh, in addition to that, it's utterly useless because it is so miserably built, this wall, that it destroys the environment, but people dig holes underneath and they manage to come and escape their misery, maybe maybe thank God, but we will surely hear immediately representatives of uh, members of the party ruling in Poland that will say that fences pro can protect us against Putin and against uh, um, invasion uh, from Russia, which I don't know if we should cry or laugh about such arguments, because really if fences protected us against invader like Putin, then life would be very easy. But life is much more complicated. What we need is action of the European Commission. Please do act, Commissioner. I say it on your hands because you are here. Thank you.